Tennessee, home of the Grand Ole Opry and the Titans. Okay, those two, just name a few. <laughs> I am from Charlotte, North Carolina, home of the Hornets and the Panthers. Okay, 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 yes. okay. Hey, can I tell you that there wasn't a day that went by that my mother did not take a spoon to the bacon drippings mm -hmm. in the broken coffee cup that sat on the back of the stove and she would season the green beans. Okay. So what you've done is you've created something classy. Yes. With a filter. Yes. To capture all that delicious flavor. Exactly. We have a grease catcher and we have the same colors. You wanna go through the colors again? Let's do that. Now, this is the plum. The plum. Not to be mistaken <laughs> by anything else, this is plum. Sweet heritage is what's printed on the front. Then I've got it for you in corn flour. Mm -hmm. Then we have it in sage. sage. And, and then we have it in the tomato. You want to lift the lid on that tomato yeah, look and at show this. everybody? So see, you have the stainless steel filter, and it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Mm. And so you're going to get all that really nice grease. And so when you're taking something out, so here I have in here, I have all of this. Uh, let, me, let me show you how this is going to work. So. You need a spatula? I, need, I do need a spatula. You're going to give me uh, one? Can we run a uh, spatula? Oh, here, you know what? Oh, I can use this. You can use a scraper. Yeah, I can use a scraper. So what I'm going to do, I would take my bacon out, but I want you to see, just come right in here where I am pouring this bacon fat Ooh, in, right? That's I'm, flavor, and you see, you see and don't worry all about that bacon bits. falling down. Okay, exactly. And you see all those bits in there? All right, you have that. And wait, I'm going to come back when you actually, let me see if we have some more in here. I want you to see this. Now, I'm going to come right in here. And I want you to see how clear this fat is. And you know what that fat is? That fat is pure, straight up flavor. That's what's up. If you want to add beautiful flavor to your green beans, to whatever your yes. many times mom would add bacon drippings to things like mm -hmm. hominy. Yes. Things like that that would not have a lot of flavor on their own. Exactly. These are dynamic. Now, what kinds of fats would you strain in here? All right. So I would do bacon fat. Yeah. I would do beef fat. I would do pork fat. When you're cooking chicken, I have chicken in here. And even in my air fryer, where the air fryer is going to collect that fat underneath, sure. Sure. I'm going to strain it. But I'm going to keep my fats separately because it is an ingredient. Ooh. Right? It's an ingredient that you want to save for flavor. Now, there's another thing. Fat is a flavor carrier, but also fat, uh, and you've lost a lot of weight, it's a celebration item. Yeah, well, of course it is. Right, so I'm gonna tell you right now. Keep your fat, you can keep it in the refrigerator, you can freeze it, but pull it out for your celebration meals. You don't want to do this every day, but you mm. want to have it and capture it. What is the capacity of each of these containers? It is, Two cups, does it tell you? It's five inches high by five and a half inches in diameter. Uh, four cup capacity. Four, four cup, cup capacity. Four and look cups. at that. Look in there. Look right and you know in what? there. Wait, that could be weeks and weeks of okay. bacon fat. Because what's going to happen to that bacon fat after you fry up that bacon? You're probably going to sop it up with a paper towel and throw it in the garbage. Exactly. Exactly. And if you do, you're throwing away all that flavor. But there's not a good place. Some people used to pour it in an old can on the back of the stove. Right. Mom poured it in a, in a coffee mug that had a broken handle. Mm, because mm, we couldn't mm, use the, the, mm. the mug. So she would put it in there. And it may take you a few weeks, if not a few months, to fill this. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because when it solidifies in there, it's not going to stay that way. It's you're going to put it in the hot food and it's going to exactly. melt. Exactly. And also, what I want to remind you all, because of two things. We've strained it so we don't have food in the grease. So right. that's also going to prolong the life. But if you're going to keep saving it, store it in the refrigerator or take it out periodically so you can keep that in the refrigerator and then keep some in the freezer because you're going to use it maybe two weeks later. Uh, sometimes I cook a whole pound of bacon. I know, shocking. And um, sometimes I do. And it can render an awful lot of fat. Yes. And if you don't have a good way to save it, the last thing you want to do is pour it down the drain because mm, that's bad. Mm -mm. And then, number one, you're just, you're just wasting good flavor. Number two, you're coating your pipes and you're just begging for, for a clog, right? 100%. 100%. Or you can put them in something like this and then yeah. save it because then you're going to take a spoonful of that fat and you're going to season beans with it. Exactly you're right. You're going to put some in your chicken and dumplings. Yes. You're going to put some maybe in your roast chicken. In your cabbage. In the cabbage. What? What? Come on now. So look at the, this screen is so fine. I want you to get in here and see how fine this screen is. So you see how fine that screen is? That is going to hold all of those bits, all of those little black bits that will make your um, fat go rancid. And so you want to you just capture all that so that you have 
this beautiful clear oil. These little bits are, that's, that's a snack. Mm. I mean, oh, it's so, oh, I've been stacking on it already yeah, while you've been talking. Yeah, thank you, thank you, uh-huh. And then you can keep all that. And if you want to store this in the fridge, that's fine. If you want to freeze it, that's good too. Yeah. Remember, this is available in the plum. Mm -hmm. We have it in corn flour. We have it in sage. And we have it in tomato. And we have it in tomato. But now, if you want this sage, that is the most popular and most limited at this point. Yes, okay. Please don't miss out on any of these. Thank They're you. all brand spanking new. This is K76924. Shall we come over and blend? Yeah, let's come blend. Now, some people might call this a hand blender. Some mm -hmm. might call it an